Here we are on uh, Coyote Canyon in Anza Brego State Park, and we're with Al Cox, and it's uh, November 13th, 2012. We're going up Coyote Canyon, probably going to go all the way. It's about a 12 mile drive, and right now we just started at the trailhead, and you can see the road's in uh, pretty decent shape here. Got some soft sand up ahead, but uh, Al's got his Jeep, and we have behind us, we have uh, Jack and Anisha Gottwig that are also coming with us. So uh, I'm going to just do some more filming and I'll shut up when we get further up. I hear her now. Okay. Yeah, I think we got it. Again. I read it, you should use me. Break it, break it. Got it. Did you hear me? Yeah. Did you hear hear us? Can you hear me? Hang on. We can hear you. Wait. That's because she's yelling. <laughs> Wait, let me try. Let me hear. Crossing. <laughs> Here we are at the uh, second river crossing in Coyote Canyon. Al's going to negotiate the uh, <laughs> trenchal deep water trench here. <laughs> yeah, all three inches of it. <laughs> Looking good. Looking good. That's awesome. Definitely got water out here. They had some recent rains out here, so this is very cool. This is, I guess, the third crossing here. No, or second. Not really? Yeah. I think this, I don't know. It's a crossing. It's a little more water in here, though. Yeah, this, this is, great. is more water than I. I'm surprised. This is nice. Definitely got some good water right here. <laughs> oh, look at the trout. This is like <laughs> salmon. That must be a 20-pound salmon. A chinook. It's king salmon. Oh, wait, it's desert salmon. king. I see the water's coming over here. Neat. Look at this. This is nice. It's got the reeds. Think of this. The reeds being three times as tall. Yeah. And about another 20 inches deep. Oh, okay. Not 15 inches. Coming. Very cool. All right. This is uh, Lower Coyote Canyon. We're gonna go check it out. We'll see how the water level is. It's easy. It's the road's still there. Oh, the road's still there? Yeah, uh, you don't, you don't traverse. All right, that sounds good. So, Jack, what you do? <laughs> so, in the old days with this, you would actually straddle the creek right. for about 200 feet. But last year, which I thought was kind of dumb. They put a road in just onto the side, traverses the creek, oh, okay, okay. or just goes on the side of it. I didn't think it would last through the, the rains and everything. Did it? 
Yeah, it seems like at least the first hundred feet or so. I'd and then, do you out. remember the old crossing? Yes. That would go through the reeds. They moved that about hundred feet north. So you oh. can't because last time I went through, it was, it was it's just above my bump. That's deep. It's deep. Yeah, luckily I've got breather tubes on those. Oh, you got oh yeah. you got breather those, tubes. Well, no, on the two that's because of the, on the diffs. Yeah. No, they run. I ran them all the way up. But anyway, the point being, you're talking about the ones on the axles. Yeah, on the axle. Oh, I yeah. thought you meant on the oh, oh, no, no, no. You've got, you've got... I got some great shots of you coming through the water over there. Yeah, I was filming that. Yeah. yeah. Let's see what the yeah. next crossing is. Let's oh, just unpause here. Yeah. This time. There we go. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. This is the uh, third crossing that's called we're going through right now. What's left of it? What's left of it. The road has been diverted, as Alice mentioned, and we, we see a little uh, Roadrunner bird up there on the yeah. road or something. Very cool. So later in the spring, this will be you know a lot deeper and a lot wider. Yep. Still got water though. That's good. That's the third crossing, County Canyon. No camping in this area, it's closed, no wheel motor vehicles. You can see where all the greenery up where the river, uh, the creek flows. There's a trail right here called the Lower Willows Trail. I'll walk up to the top. So, yeah. Yeah. No, you're doing good. Look. They got nothing like this in the Philippines. <laughs> See you on top. Looking good.
took Suzanne up here, and we went through this section. There may be a little more, but I think it was this section. All I could see here say her head was going back like this and everything, and all I could hear her say, "Next time, invite somebody else." <laughs> 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 and I started laughing, she did too. But she was like, oh Good job, Anisha. <laughs> nice work, oh nice God. work. Oh you guys did good on that. How'd you like that? Oh. Pretty awesome, I'm huh? Serious. I'm serious. You turn the motor off. Oh. I keep mine on there. Awesome. You guys like that, huh? That was a good, that was a good, Seriously. good, good hill climb there. Not bad. Yeah. Not bad. Oh, that was fun. Oh, yeah. <laughs> there you go. All right. When we first came out, I said, well, let's quit. We come to the first creek. We went around a corner and I see this. Says, Look at this. I had just that one section about a third of the way down where I, there was a little bit of the higher portion. I, I put the locker, the rear locker on, but other than that, I didn't need it. See, yeah. But I, I prefer having a ball. Oh, I hate stopping in the middle of the hill trying to get the damn thing. <laughs> I have a hell of a time with this one too. Oh, what, it's that? getting it into low range. So you put it in neutral. Yeah. And then, because I'll run low range yeah, on this stuff. Drive. And you just knock it over and you four wheel drive, then knock it over and down for low. Oh, really? For low range. Oh no, mine's just. If yours is, what kind is your, your transfer case, you know? It's a 231, you know, the original. It's the original? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've got the original transfer case. I'm surprised. That must be the heavy one at the time. This yeah, it was. Yeah, that's cool. This is more, uh, we're above the rocky uh, incline here. Now we're kind of coming up into Upper Coyote Canyon. It's really pretty. A little bit more of a tree. Oh, yeah. There's a look at a palm oasis over here. Very pretty over here. And you got the mountains over on this side. The roads improved quite a bit, and uh, it's all good. It's a beautiful area. I just might mention we did actually see a guy on a mountain bike come through here. He had these oversized mountain bike tires that were pretty beefy, but they were good for uh, riding in the soft sand. Looked like he had been out here and knew what he was doing, so he's ahead of us because we didn't want him to bite our, like get our dust from the vehicles. But yeah, we're coming up to some green patch. Looks like there's probably, is there more water out there, Al? Yep. Right over there? Yeah, it looks like more water by looking at the greenery. So, we'll catch that when we get over there. Uh, we're over here at Sheep Canyon. We uh, went to the end of the trail, Coyote Canyon. We stopped at Sheep Canyon here. There's a neat little oasis kind of a canyon. I don't know if you can see it up here. Um, try and zoom in a little bit. There it is. And we're gonna go over to uh, Indian Canyon and, what's that other one over there? Cougar Canyon. We're gonna check it out. But this is a very scenic area, part of Vans of Borrego. Uh, really pretty, so having a good time here, and uh, it's all good. So there, there, they, there they are, and off we go. There's actually a campground here that's called Sheep Canyon Camp. 